What's up guys, welcome back to the Pokemon TCG. Uh, today we're doing something actually a little different. Uh, so we're actually going to be opening up the brand new Pikachu and uh, Zekrom uh, GX uh, Battle League deck. I'm very excited to be opening up this thing. This thing actually released a few days ago on May 22nd alongside the uh, Charizard and uh, Reshiram uh, GX decks. Fairly certain that's who the other one is. Uh, yes, the Reshiram and uh, pulling it up right here. Yes, the Reshiram and Charizard one. So typically these are about twenty-five dollars. I was able to find one at my local Walmart. Uh, it seems to be they are. They're very good decks. Uh, so it's going to be very difficult to find one. Although if you're looking to find one on the uh, the TCG to just use online, you might be able to find a code uh, to use off of eBay. So let's we'll go ahead and dive into it and see what all this deck has in store. So, first things first, something that I wish, uh, Oh, so actually when I open this, it actually has uh, the two decks inside talking about them. So here it's talking about the, the Pikachu and Zekrom deck, which is the one we have right here. And then on the reverse side, it's talking about the Reshiram and Charizard deck and what those each include. Both of these decks are pretty solid and they have some pretty amazing stuff in them. Uh, so actually what we're going to... We also have in here, uh, which is something I wish I would have had when I was younger, uh, Pokemon Training Card Game Rules. Uh, because this is something that would have insanely helped me when I was younger. When I was younger, we collected Pokemon cards, but we never actually knew how to play. So that would have been great. So, opening up everything we have inside here, uh, is, it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, cause this also comes with a set of stuff you use. So it has some, uh, it comes with some die. Uh, so these die, of course, are to be used for uh, damage counters that you can set up on there. Like you can see some of it goes all the way up to 100. And all that different stuff. There's some pretty useful die if you're if you're doing you know TCG in the real world. Uh, also comes with a, a TCG online code. I will of course be using this. Uh, so I'm not gonna be showing that off there. And then the three cards that are the ones to see here. So we have one uh, tag team Raichu and Alolan, as well as uh, Pikachu and uh, Zekrom there. So there is that Pikachu and Zekrom. Uh, really, um, just really beautiful art there. Really beautiful art, uh, with the, uh, the full blitz, uh, being a pretty solid move there. Uh, search your deck for up to three lightning energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. That's, that's pretty solid. So really what this deck is, it's, is it's going to be a lot more of a competitive deck than what I have. And then of course with Alolan, uh, and regular Raichu there with, uh, this, if this Pokemon was on the bench, became your active Pokemon this turn, it does 80 more damage. So base damage 160 if you switch off from your bench and also paralyzing your opponent's Pokemon. So we got that right there. Uh, it also comes with uh, with your uh, tag team uh, flip for you're using in your actual play. Uh, I'll, I keep forgetting that I have my, my phone here to record other stuff here. As well as the, uh, the burned and poison stuff there for you to put on your cards as well. And then the actual full deck itself. This, this deck box just... Like, this deck box looks so, uh, flip that way, so, so, so good. So let's actually crack this open, and let's take a look at the other cards that are inside here. Cool, so, uh, let me, uh, oh, it's actually already shuffled. It's actually already shuffled. I was gonna be like, oh, let me pull off the energy here. So, uh, first boy up right here is, uh, Tapacoco, a uh, prism card here. Uh, with the uh, the Dance of the Ancients as the ability. Uh, once during your turn, before you attack, this Pokemon is on your bench. You may choose two of your bench Pokemon and attach a uh, Lightning Energy from your discard pile to them. If you do, discard all cards from this Pokemon and put it in the Lost Zone. Uh, so pretty good to use if you, if you, if you just want to get some quick energy out to do a quick attack. And then it's Mach Bolt for 120 damage right there. Pretty solid uh, right there. And then that art just also looks so good. Uh, we also have uh, two... 
Uh, two Mallow and a lot of Tag Team supporter cards here. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. When you play this card, you can discard two other cards from your hand if you do heal 120 damage from that Pokemon you moved to your, from your bench. That right there matched up with, uh, with uh, Raichu is going to do great, giving them the ability to do that extra damage there. Uh, and then a couple Poke Gears here to look at the top seven cards of your deck and reveal a supporter card, put it into your hand. Professor's Research, of course, discard your hand, draw seven cards. Ordinary Rod, uh, two Pokemon from your discard pile, two energy from your discard pile. Uh, a quick ball, you can play this, discard another hand, search for basic Pokemon, reveal it. And uh, for note, uh, tag team Pokemon are basic Pokemon, so that quick ball you can easily pull out a tag team Pokemon and throw that out there. We got a normal uh, trainer switch card here to switch your active card. Uh, a Vitality Band, uh, attacks do 10 more damage. <clears throat> another Professor's Research, uh, an Energy Switch. This right here is a, is a great card, also... Uh, all right, let me flip out. So we got another Poke Gear, another Switch, another Ordinary Rod, which we saw earlier. Also, there is Marnie here. Marnie is is a pretty great card here. Uh, each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. <clears throat> if I play it, I draw four or five cards. They draw four. It's really good if you see your opponent uh, trying to set something up. If you see them anytime they reveal a card and they put it into their hand, especially when they're looking for evolution cards, you throw Marnie at them, and then that evolution card goes to the bottom of their deck and wastes another turn for them. Uh, another switch, as well as an air balloon, uh, retreat cost is uh, two less. Uh, another Marnie, another energy switch, another Pokey gear. Uh, we got the Rotom Bike here, draw cards so you have six in your hand, your turn ends. We got Professor's Research here, another switch card, another Quick Ball, another Vitality Band. Uh, then we have the Reset Stamp here. Uh, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws a card for each of their remaining prize cards. And that is just an item. So they got a, a decent hand set up and they're starting to win and they only have like two or three prize cards left. You use the reset stamp on them, their cards go away and you might be able to stall them out for a turn if they aren't able to pull energy. Or if they're using a scoop up, uh, or if they have like Drachi in their hand and you know that they just pulled Drachi, they don't have room on their bench yet, and they haven't scooped up yet, you can easily throw that away. We of course have some uh, some energy there. Uh, the electromagnetic, uh, magnetic Radar. Uh, you can only play this card if you discard two other cards from your hand. So you can do this, discard two energy, and uh, use Tapaku, and you can pull energy out somewhere like that. Might be a play to do. Search your deck for up to two in combination of Lightning, Pokemon, GX, and EX. Reveal them, put them onto your hand, shuffle your deck. Pretty solid there. Uh, we have the Pokemon communication here. Reveal a Pokemon from your hand, put it into your deck. If you do search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. Then this, this next card is actually a big reason that this deck is <clears throat> is sought after right now and i'm very excited to use it i'm actually pulling because there are four of them in here so i just want to show them all off together here they are jirachi four jirachis are in this deck this is not in the uh, charizard and restroom deck you will only find these four uh in this go battle league deck i mean you'll find them in other decks but specifically in this one if you're looking at these right here jirachi right here with their ability once before you attack if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you can look at the top five cards of your deck, pull a support card there, put it into your hand, shuffle your cards, and then this Pokemon is asleep. So the way a lot of people end up using this that I've seen is they throw Jirachi out, they use the ability, pull a support card, you know, can use a support card, can use a scoop up to get Jirachi back into their hand since it's asleep, throw it away, uh, put out a, a stadium card that, you know, reduces retreat to zero, or use something to retreat it out using an air balloon on it, just throwing Jirachi in and out. That's a lot of stuff I see there. So there are four of those in this deck, which is really a big reason uh, that a lot of people want this deck, including myself, because uh, I am actively trying to come up, trying to get myself a more uh, competitive deck here, which is something I desperately need. Uh, overall, uh, there is uh, 11 lightning energy into this in this deck. So I'm just going to drop those out here as we continue to go through this. Let me just drop these all out. All right, so what we got up next is the tag switch here. Move up to two energy from one of your tag team Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon item. You can easily move some energy. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a non-tag team. You can move this energy off of your Pokemon to another tag team Pokemon should you show choose. Another electromagnetic radar, another Pokemon communication. We also have Erica's Hospitality here. You can play this card only if you have four or fewer cards in your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. So you have, you know, maybe one po one card in your hand. Uh, your opponent has a full bench and their active Pokemon. Draw six cards, pretty much. Uh, another reset stamp here. 
Uh, we have Hoopa coming in, a uh, a dark type, but all uh, only normal in or any energy needed for it. Uh, evil Ad admonition. This attack does twenty more damage for each of your opponent's active Pokemon that has an ability. Uh, and then Mind Shock. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. So just an easy eighty damage here. We have a Palm here. Uh, for one energy, uh, discard random cards from your opponent's hand until they have five cards in their hands, uh, and then Tail Smash from a coin of Tails. This attack does nothing. Not that great of a Mon, but decent to have in the deck. We have another Pokemon Communication here, uh, another Erica's Hospitality, another, uh, got a few more additional cards here. We just got two left. We got Electromatic Radi Radar here, another Tag Switch to move the energy around, and then the last two Pokemon uh, that this deck has which is uh, Electros here. Uh, so uh, once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon's in your hand and you have at least four uh, Lightning Energy cards in play, you may play this Pokemon onto your bench if you do move any number of energy from your hand to this Pokemon. So th this is a Stage 2 Pokemon here. The Stage 1 in the basic Pokemon is not in this deck here, but it's an Electric Slot. So if this card is in your hand and you have four lightning energy in your hand you can just play this pokemon onto your bench you don't have to do the evolution and you just start with the stage two there this pokemon has 150 health here uh and uh then hover over for uh four energy uh oh and and once you do you can move any number of energy from your other pokemon to this pokemon so if you have energy set up you can immediately move all your energy to here do 130 damage and keep the def defending pokemon from retreating in their next turn uh honestly a pretty solid card there and then the final card in this deck which is Zapdos very nice art there with thunderous assault if this Pokemon was on your bench became your active Pokemon this turn this attack does 70 more damage it's not affected by weakness so I'm actually really excited to see how this car how this deck plays because looking at this deck you guys can see that this is a very it's a, it's a more competitive deck than anything we've played recently so that's why I'm really excited to, to play it see how it goes I already have some thoughts in mind for how I can switch up this uh, this deck and make it, uh, change it up a little bit. Like, I think some scoop-ups would really help this deck. Uh, a couple other things to help move some cards around. But I'm very excited to see just how it plays. So, uh, let's go see how it plays. Alright, now that we are fully in to the Pokemon TCG Online, we've loaded in the Pikachu and Zekrom deck here. All of the fun cards here online for you guys to see. Uh, I've only done one thing. Haven't changed anything. Other than I changed our, our coin, because for some reason this deck doesn't come with a fun coin. Uh, so it uh, auto defaults the Arceus coin, so I just threw the gold action Pikachu coin on there. Uh, for fun, otherwise I've changed nothing. It included the deck box, which is great. I uh, included that, which is great. Uh, so we're ready to go. So something that of course should be noted about this is I do typically play expanded. Uh, this deck is a standard deck. It is not an expanded deck. We'll call heads here. Hopefully the heads. We want a coin flip. Sweet. Uh, I honestly don't know with this deck if it would ra rather go first or second. I think for now we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say no. Uh, Jirachi is the only card we pull. Uh, so this one might not go well as a good setup. Although we do have, but we have to reveal a Pokemon from your hand. Put it in there. So we can use the Stellar Wish, and we can hopefully grab a supporter card that allows us to get a couple Pokemon out. Ooh, they're also starting with a Jirachi, but they also have a couple other Pokemon. On their hand here, I'm very interested. Oh, okay. Well, they're they're rolling ADP. They're rolling the Arceus Dialga Palkia. Uh, I hate seeing Arceus. And yep. And then they their Stellar Wish. Then they're gonna escape board. And you know they're just ready there as soon as they want to. This is what we're now to be expected here. Uh, all right. So switch your active Pokemon with your bench Pokemon. Uh, Stellar Wish. Uh, let's see what we have here. You can play this card only if you discard. Search your deck for two GXs. Yep, that's what we're going to do here. Cool. We're going to go ahead and use this. We're going to get rid of... What are you? Switch your active with your bench Pokemon when you do this heal. Uh, let's get rid of these two right here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab them. And it looks like Raichu is... Uh, Raichu and Alolan Raichu are in a prize card. So we're going to throw these up here. We're going to go ahead and put energy onto you, energy onto you. Uh, this, you also discard two other cards from your hand, heal 120 damage from the Pokemon you move to your bench. That's That we don't care about right here. Uh, let's look at the top seven cards of our deck. Uh, pull Marnie. 
Reveal it. Uh, and we can also use Marnie. Yeah, because we haven't used a supporter card this round. So we're going to use Marnie as well. Pull some new cards here. Uh, which we lost the one carpet, but that's okay. That's 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 okay. We'll throw you out on the deck. Uh, and... Throw the other Fatalia bit on you. I don't know. I'm still learning this deck. I don't know everything that I want here. His Jirachi stays asleep, but he has the board. So he can easily switch out. What is the name of this board? This is the U no, this is the escape board. So the the uh, it can retreat even if it's asleep or paralyzed. Ooh, spicy. Uses a Cynthia there. This guy has some really pretty cards. Uh, Vitality Band on there. Gonna go and use the Stellar. Wish they're hacking. How did you wake up? Resulting in heads for a sleep. How did you wake up though? It's now his turn. Drew a card. Played Cynthia. Drew a card. Drew a card. Drew a card. Oh, can you use the ability even if you're asleep? Pretty. Oh, is it his escape board that lets him do it? I'm pretty sure if you were asleep, you, you can't... Maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe I'm stupid. You guys can tell me all about that here. Uh, draw a card for each of the Pokemon's opponent and play. Ooh, this is, this, the, this is the way to go here. Let's go ahead and use uh, Erica's Hospitality here. Draw up all these cards here. Let's go ahead and use Stellar Wish. <coughs> uh, didn't even click anything, so that's solid. Uh, reset stamp your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws a number for each of the remaining prize cards. I'm okay with them staying out of the arm right now. Uh, reveal a Pokemon from your hand. Uh, search your deck for Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Uh, I'm okay with doing that right now. Uh, discard two, search for up to two any combination of Pokemon, reveal them, put them into your hand. I'm okay with that right now. Uh, so I'm actually going to say done for now. Our Jirachi wakes back up, their Jirachi wakes back up. So here's what I'm going for. Next turn, we can do full blitz. Next turn, we can full blitz. Which allows us to, you know, do 150 damage and also search our deck for three energy cards and attach them to one of my Pokemon. So I will just attach them to our other Pikachu and Zekrom here. Ooh, okay, playing the power plant, get rid of, getting rid of the abilities here. But he's coming in with Arceus and Jirach, or Arceus de Agapalkia. Uh, search your deck for up to three basic energies attached. The same basic move here. Uh, and who's going to use this GX move? For the rest of the game, your Pokemon's attack do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. If this Pokemon has at least one extra energy to it and attached to this, uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out from damage from those attack. Oh, when your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out from damage, they take one more prize card. I just misread that, and I was like, I'm sorry, you're telling me he can just, whenever he wants to, he just knocks me out? I was, I, I was so confused. This is actually my first time dealing with RNC's Diagapalkia. Normally, I get knocked out before, before I ever actually see them. Uh, we're going to pull that right there. I don't really care for it, but we will pull it. Uh, we're not healing any damage right now, so we don't need to do that. I feel like we need to be playing one of these right here. I, you know what? Let's let's get rid of you. Uh, we could pull another one of our Jirachi here. Ooh, actually, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may choose two of your benched Pokemon and attach an energy card from your discard pile to them, uh, and then move this Pokemon to the Lost Zone. That might be useful later on. Honestly, I don't need another Jirachi in my hand right now, so I'm gonna throw him up on the board there. Uh, a reset stamp your opponent. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not going to do anything for me there. So let's go ahead and switch Pikachu and Zekrom in. Uh, and then I think we're good here. Then I think that's all we want to do here. Yeah, and what's our... This Pokemon has at least three extra energy attached to it. This attack does 170 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. We could actually attach the energy. I'm actually... I'm not. I'm, I'm going to... First and foremost, I'm going to attach the energy... Uh, to my other Pikachu Zekrom, so that way I have him set and ready to make an attack. And then if we get another attack off here, we'll attach it to ourselves, uh, assuming he's going to come in, because we did 160 damage. We'll almost knock out his Kabolion. Kabolion? Kabolion. We'll almost knock him out there. This is a solid deck. This deck is put together. This deck is not put together by me. Honestly, the only change I think this deck might need is some scoop-ups I think would be useful. I think maybe adding in a couple Cynthia's uh, to be able to, you know, switch your deck very quickly other than, which uh, Marnie's are, yeah, Marnie's pretty helpful, as you guys can see there, because it then also screws with your opponent as well. 
190 damage done to us. We may actually throw those three energy onto our other Pikachu and Zekrom who have max health because we die next turn because he's set up to that. So that might actually be the play there. Uh... Oh, wait. When you play this card, you may discard two cards from your hand and heal 120 damage. That's actually the play here. Uh... Yeah, uh, that's the play here. Uh, and then we, if we use him, we can do energy from our discard pile. So let's actually throw that two, those two energy into our discard pile. Make him our active Pokemon. Heal 120 damage from there. Uh, and then we could actually do it right now. We won't do it right now because I don't need to attach energy to anyone. Uh, and then let's go ahead and make our attack here. Knock out his ADP. Take the two energy from there. Uh, throw them onto that Pikachu or that Pikachu and Zekrom. Go ahead and take our three prize cards here, which we get some energy back. We get a Professor's Research. We get an Energy Switch. Energy Switch actually could come in handy because uh, if this makes me put both, does this? You may choose two. You may choose two of your bench Pokemon and attach an Energy card from your discard pile to each of them. Okay, so it's not two of two one. So that's actually fine. Because when a Pikachu Zekrom, that puts me to six energy on them, and then I can throw it to someone else, and I can energy switch and move it around if I so chose. I don't think I need to. Uh, this just keeps stadium cards from happening. That's fine. I don't have any stadium cards in my hand. But you did just give abilities back. And you gave the abilities back so you could do damage there. Is that really all that card does? It does damage and shovels back in? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, they're going to try and knock out my other one here. This is a great... Hey, well played. That is That is a good play there. You played better than I could. You played you played much better than I could. Uh, wow, yeah, yeah. I got outmaneuvered there. I absolutely got outmaneuvered there. I'm not gonna pretend that I didn't. I am not gonna pretend that I didn't. They take that additional one because of their GX move earlier. Uh, we'll throw. Uh, Drachi out here. We're gonna go ahead and Stellar Wish. Uh, reset. Oh, yeah. Reset Stamp. For sure. Uh, for sure Reset Stamp. Make them put away some of those cards that they got. Go ahead and Reset Stamp. You go ahead and put your cards away and take two cards. We just have to take out his one card here and we're solid. Uh, oh, actually, 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 actually. Hold up. Hold up. Dance of the Ancients. Uh, you and I don't care. You, sure. Uh, can I do that? No, I can't do that. I have to do it like this way. It's weird. <clears throat> uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and energy switch. Uh, select you. Move to you. Solid. I need my Jirachi out of there. Uh, this just reveals a supporter card. But that's fine. That gets a reshuffle going. Uh, which is good. We need to get uh, the hot air balloon out. No, I think did I throw the hot air balloon away? I didn't. The hot air, my hot air balloon's still in there. So your deck for a basic Pokemon. I what I need. What? Shoot, because they they win if I don't get Jirachi out of there. They win if I if Jirachi doesn't leave, because they get to draw an additional energy card there. And I already, I already played. I already played a supporter card. Shoot. They win. They absolutely win. There is... There's no way around it because I could not get this air balloon out. And there's nothing I can do now to get the air balloon out. Yeah, that's it. That's GG. Well played. Well played. <sighs> that that could have gone... That could have gone a completely different way there. That Arceus Dial Dialga Palkia just, just demolishing me. Shoot. Wow. That was an intense game right there. That was intense right there. Screw it. I know we only do normally do one, but I, I, wanted, I want to do another game. I want to do another game and see how this does... Especially in standard play here, that was fun. But I do want to—I do want to mess with this deck a little bit. 
If you guys have any suggestions for this deck, please give it to me. The biggest one I can think of is, like I said, some scoop. So that way, because if I would have had a scoop there, I could have pulled Jirachi into my hand, throw that out there, done 200 damage. Because that's not what I was thinking of. You know, I was thinking of, oh, I'll be able to do damage here. It'll be great. All right, Shadow is choosing. Uh, they're going to go first, actually. Uh, we pulled Jirachi right off the bat. We also have a Rotom Bike, so we can draw cards until 6. That's Honestly, I'll probably get rid of the Rotom Bike out of this deck. I, I Tell me if it's a good card, guys. I don't think it is. All right, he's got Foul Links here. Hmm. We can discard from our hand... Uh, pull one of our active Pokemon, but I think first we'll use Drachi's Wish to see what uh, we could get from there. Use Drachi's Wish here. Uh, the only thing here is uh, discard two other cards. Search, yeah, that's actually let's actually do that. It's just an item card too, so we're actually going to get rid of the Rotom Bike, and we'll get rid of Erica's Hospitality here. Uh, we'll pull. Ooh, we also have Raichu here as well. Uh, I don't know who's the better of the two, honestly. I honestly don't know who's the better of the two. I think I'm going to pull them, though. Actually, uh, switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. This Pokemon has at least two extra energy attached to it. This attack does 100 more damage. That's less energy set up to do uh, 250 damage there. Uh, so I think we'll throw them out there. I'll go ahead and put the energy, I think, onto... Pikachu and Zekrom, so that way they can also use their move and put energy onto them. Uh, you can only play draw a card for each of your cards and your opponent, so he only has two cards in play, so not really worth it. Uh, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Uh, honestly, I think I'll wait to see if uh, they end up playing a couple more cards next turn. Uh, our Jirachi should be okay. They shouldn't be able to kill Jirachi this turn. Yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't be able to is as far as my mindset goes, I don't know if they do. This will at least give them another car. Oh, no, that's uh, putting a uh, an evolution. I was hoping you are going to pull a basic Pokemon. Honestly, Pokegear is pretty... So this dude's running Pokegears to get Poke Kids to set up his Pokemon. Honestly, I mean, it's not terrible. Ooh, absolutely. That air balloon goes on Jirachi. Jirachi needs that air balloon. Uh... Uh, let's Stellar Wish. What do you have for me? Switch your active. Yeah, that's great. Vitality Band. Honestly, wouldn't be bad to have. Wouldn't be bad to have. Just doing 10 more damage is always nice. Let's go ahead and draw two cards just because it's the best we can do here. Just another Vitality Band. What well, we, we need some energy. We need some energy. I'll go ahead and throw that onto you for fun. Actually, I think instead of the Air Balloon, we need to get that Escape Board. We need to get that escape board because it can because that allows Jirachi to retreat even if he's asleep. So that escape board is 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 what we need to add. Uh, escape board. I'm making notes because I, I I want a competitive deck. I want a deck that's gonna do great. Jirachi dies here. <sighs> Shoot. Why'd that do 210 damage? Oh, that's that's how much damage that move does. Oh, shoot. We're screwed. Uh, give me Jirachi. Alright, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not completely screwed yet. Stellar Wish, uh, well, Stellar Wish isn't one out, Mal Mallow and Luna wasn't one I was hoping for. Really hoping for something else to be there. Really was hoping for something else to be there. Uh, you can discard to deal damage. I think... Hmm, I don't want to sacrifice a tag team. I think I'd rather sacrifice... I think I'd rather sacrifice Jirachi. He's going to kill Jirachi, take another prize card. If we can get another energy in here, we can come in and we might just wait. We might just tank our no it actually wouldn't be smart to tank the GX move yet we need to full blitz first so that way we can get the energy onto uh, Raichu and them because he does 210 damage he does 210 damage it might actually oh oh ooh why 
This attack does 30 damage for each of your binged Pokemon that has, that has uh, Phalanx in its name. So it's only 30 damage. Because you only have one. Interesting. Stellar Wish, what you got for me? Mm, that's, that's not a very Stellar Wish. Not a very Stellar Wish at all. Because that just gets me GX and EX. I don't need them. Yep. Cool. Solid. That didn't get me what I needed. Uh, so with him switching out his, his Phalanx V. Because I was thinking we GX and kill it for 200 damage. Absolutely destroy it. Uh, draw two cards from the head. What's that? Flip a coin if heads. Uh, put this card into your hand instead of the discard pile. 10 4. It's actually pretty solid. Tar generator. Once during your turn, you may attach uh, fire energy and energy card to one of your discard pile to your Pokemon. That's why he was trying to set that up so badly. Alright, he's calling for family instead of doing anything else there. Search your deck for two base Pokemon, put them onto your bench. He's probably going to grab other Phalanx Pokemon. If I had to guess. Yep. Yep. All right, so we need, we need energy. Thank you. Thank thank you. All right, Stellar Wish. Switch card. Switch card. Switch card. Switch card has to be what we pull here, because I I need to take this filings out before it destroys me. Before it destroys me, switch you out. Go ahead and do uh, full blitz. He's gonna get to draw cards, which is you know nice for him. Uh, does he kill me this turn? He doesn't. He doesn't kill me this turn. But I'm gonna put the three energy onto Pikachu, I think, or Raichu. I keep saying Pikachu onto Raichu because Pikachu's up here. I don't want to put it on Pikachu. I want to put it on the Raichu. We'll take only one card, which is just an energy switch, which doesn't do too much for us. He's going to go ahead and do 210 damage to us, which is really nice. He's got a V-Max. Oh, no, no, it's not a Sir. It's a, it's a different art than this one, so I, I thought he had V-Max. I don't even actually think there is a Stonejourner V-Max. Oh, weakness. I forgot about weakness. I'm stupid, and I forgot about weakness. Hi, hello. My name is Chandler, and I forgot weakness was a thing. Are you resistant? No, so I knock you out. Not that it does much for me, but I do knock you out. Uh... Let's go ahead and do both. Let's take the two of you, put you back into the deck. Let's take two of you, put you back in the deck. So maybe we'll get them. Uh, I don't think I care to do them. Switch this Pokemon will be your bench Pokemon. If this Pokemon has at least two extra energy to it, that just does more damage. If we do that, we do knock, we do KO. We are weak to you, so you do 150 damage and kill us. So I think we actually have to GX. We have to GX. And it's damage decreased. Why is it damage decreased? Because it's... All the Pokemon that have Phalanx in the name do 20 le X less damage. And he can't even attack this turn. Unless he switches. That was a misplay. That's just me not knowing this deck. This guy wins. We don't win this. And he switches. So he gets the kill. So he would have he would have knocked us out. We do come in, but we we aren't gonna do enough damage to win. He wins. He wins. Well played, my dude. Well played. We'll do the damage just for fun. We'll deal some damage just for fun. Just so we can deal under Oh, if it was on your bench and then became your active Pokemon. I thought it counted switching in like that. Of course it doesn't. That'd be a bit too overpowered if it did. Well, Two defeats. The first game was really close, though. The first game was super close. Uh, I don't know. What do you What do you guys think about this deck? I actually really like it. I just want to tweak it. Ampom can go. There's. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this Pokemon adds to this deck. I don't know why it's here. Uh, discard random opponents until they have five in their hand. Yeah, I guess that's that's good. I don't know. I don't see it being good for me. Hoopa, I don't I don't know why Hoopa does here. 
Other than this does, attack does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. If it was for my Pokemon that have ability, set up four Jirachis, it does, you know, 80, 90 damage, that would be something. But I don't know why Hoopa's here. I'll probably end up dropping them. Uh, and maybe just adding in, for some sure, I'm going to drop some trainer cards. Uh, Pokemon communication, I think that's a bit redundant. I mean, people use Pokemon communication, it's nice. But if you're revealing a Pokemon to put it into your deck to pull a new Pokemon, uh, I think Tag Switch is a bit redundant. Move two energy from your from one of your Tag Team to one of your other Pokemon. I mean, you can move, move from Tag Team to Tag Team if one's low on health, but I think the Scoop Up will help with that. Uh, energy Switches is fine. I think that I think we can reduce to three Switches there. I think Erica's Hospitality, we can uh, drop Erica's Hospitality completely. Uh, reduce Professor's Research, I think, to two. And then add in some uh, Cynthia's to counteract that there. Uh, Vitality Band? No. Not, get rid of the get rid of the Vitality Band and instead put the Muscle Band in there. Because this the attack of this just do 10 more damage to your opponent. No, let's put the Muscle Band in there and at least do 20 extra damage. Like, let's, let's get a little bit more of that. Uh, air Balloon, I think we should get rid of the Air Balloon and put in uh, a board. I'm, I, I don't know if I have a board, so I might have to do some, uh, I might have to do some sort, uh, some, uh, some trading for it. It's, uh, it's Escape. I have an Escape Rope. I do have an Escape Board. I only have one, though. I only have one, Nora, but this one I think would be better than the Air Balloon because it can still ret retreat even if it's asleep. So even if Jirachi stays asleep. So I have a plan. Have a plan. I think it's going to do well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to come back next week because originally this video wasn't going to happen. And today on Tuesday, you guys were going to be watching me build a new fairy deck. Uh, but instead, I'm going to I'm pushing that video to next week so this video can come out instead because I'm really excited about this. Uh, be sure to come follow us so far on Twitch.tv slash Studios. We're starting to stream Pokemon TCG over there. Uh, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.